Hi, my name is John Chenette. I am Dean of the Faculty at Vassar, but I'm also a professor of music. And today when I talk about writing, I'm really going to be focusing on writing as a musician. Well, I'm a uh, composer, and so the kinds of things I write about are, uh, I write grant proposals, I write uh, vision statements for commissioning opportunities, I write uh, requests uh, for fellowships. So a lot of proposal writing, but probably the most common thing I do is write about my music for other people. Uh, there's, a, there's a famous adage that writing about music is like dancing about architecture. It's a very hard um, thing to put into words. However, as a musician writing, I feel like what I'm doing is very similar to what I'm doing when I'm composing music. And that is trying to find an idea that's really exciting to uh, my audience and following it to some really interesting conclusion with uh, diversions and support and um, development and a sense of uh, completion and satisfaction at the end. Uh, you know, I think writing makes me uh, a better musician by forcing me to articulate what I'm about uh, as, a, as a composer. Um, having to explain myself to others means I'm explaining myself to myself and I'm understanding myself better. So um, I think that's a, I, I really relish the challenge of trying to explain my music to, um, to other people in program notes or in vision statements or grant proposals because it's where I learn how my ideas connect to each other, how my past connects to my future, um, how, how I can build on what I've done uh, for my next project. Having a lot of pre-thinking about what is the main thing I want to get across and what are the best ways to support, to support that thing? What are the three or four crucial points I need to make um, in order to uh, support the idea. And I usually come up with a list of 10 and then decide, you know, are there ways of combining them? Are there some that are more uh, important than others? And try to get it down to three or four things that support the main point that I want to say. S sketch that out as a kind of outline. And then I, I tend to work very uh, linearly um, with a lot of revision as I go on rather than um, you know, one quick bad write and then go back and, and fix everything. I tend to do a lot of fixing in the process of writing. One aspect of imagining my audience is, uh, first of all, that you get better and better at, at it the more that, more that you write. And you do sometimes really uh, mispeg your audience. Um, to me, it's really, really important to learn from my mistakes. And uh, there have been times when I was writing program notes, for instance, for one of my compositions, and I realized it was far too technical for the needs of the audience I was writing for. I learned from that that, you know, that there are different kinds of audiences. If my music is going to be performed by a bunch, uh, in front of a bunch of uh, composers, music theorists, music specialists, I write one way. If I'm uh, doing it for a more gen general music-loving audience, I have to write in a very different way. But it's a lot of trial and error, trying to uh, figure out what the right tone is for those different audiences. But again, you get better and better at it the more you practice. Revision is a really, really important part of, of writing for me. I'm actually constantly revising when, uh, revising when I uh, am writing. I'm going back and scratching out parts of sentences or um, looking for a better word. But um, the, the large-scale revision that happens after I've really completed a pretty good draft of something often moves in the direction of uh, com compression, condensing what I've written. I tend to write too long, too much, um, and uh, the important ideas get lost in too many things. So um, 
I do a lot of uh, crossing out and um, elimination of needless words. I usually have somebody else read my, uh, my, write, my writing, somebody else who's kind of representative of that audi audience. For any important piece of writing, I have my wife read it, who is very frank and honest and uh, a perfect uh, member of, of my writing audience. And, and I listen to what they say and try to move the writing in the direction of, of uh, the feedback that they give. But again, compression is a, a, probably the most important thing that happens in my revision process. What surprises me most about writing, I think, is that there's always a right word for every occasion. Um, it's usually, you know, the, the key word is usually not the first one I, I come up with. And I recognize that um, though there's always, there's, there always is a word. Sometimes I'm tempted to just settle for a word that's close enough but not, not, quite, not quite right. But, I've, I've become more and more convinced that uh, if I search long enough, I'll, I'll find just, just the right word. And, and putting those words together um, in such a way that there's an air of ine inevitability while also recognizing the fact that there are many paths I could have followed in the process of writing um, is the other thing I think that's perhaps most surprising about, about writing, that uh, there's not one perfect essay there are hundreds of ways you could have written that perfect essay, but when you're done, when you've done it really well, it feels inevitable and it feels like the one perfect way.